Hello! So welcome back to another video. So in this video we're going to concentrate on the three sort of service category boxes underneath here. So we're going to need to do a couple of things. We need to create some spacing. So I'm just going to zoom in slightly. So if we turn the info palette on over here, grab our marquee tool and then we're going to click just below the featured, uh, featured slider. And then we're going to drag down until we get a height of 50 pixels, like that. So as you can see over here, it says a height of 50. And then I'm going to drag from the top a guide down. So now I know I've got 50 pixels of padding. I'm just going to deselect that and just zoom out. So as you can see now, we've got the other guide in place. So each of the three category boxes here are going to have 50 pixels of padding uh, in between them as well. So we now need to do a bit of maths to work out the size of the boxes and the padding. So the overall width from this guide on the left hand side over to the right hand side is 960 pixels. In between each of the category boxes we're going to have 50 pixels of padding. So there's going to be one here and one here. So I'm going to bring in my calculator because I never was that good at maths. So we want to do 960 uh, minus 50 and 50, so that's 100 for the, the uh, margins on the boxes. That leaves us with 860. So the next thing we need to do is just divide that by three of the boxes, which gives us 286 pixels width per category. So now that we've got that, I'm just going to move that out of the way. And I'm just going to zoom in. So I need the marquee tool. So I'm going to click in this corner where the two guides are. Uh, cross each other and I'm going to drag out the width so the width was 286 so that will be there now I'm going to drag another guide and I'm going to snap that to position like that so if I deselect that zoom out slightly so you can now see we've got the the first box in position so we need to create the 50 pixels of margin on the outside of that now so I'm going to click on the actual guide and I'm going to go out to the width of 50 pixels and let go. Drag another guide. So that should snap into place. Deselect. And then we need to do another width of 286. Like that. And again, just keep dragging out the, the guides to give you the correct width. So I just need to do one more here. So this is going to be the 50 pixels of padding. Of margin sorry so 50 there like that grab another guide snap that into place deselect and you can now see we've got the grid system now so this will be our first category box this will be the second this will be the third and then these bits here are the margins in between so the next thing we need to do is just sort out the height so I'm just going to zoom in so if we go to the first one here so the height of this is going to be roughly 250 pixels. So make sure it snaps up to the side. And if we get a height of 250, which is there, I'm going to drag another guide down, snap that into place, deselect. And we've now got equal uh, widths and heights across everything with a, uh, a 50 pixel margin on each side as well. So the next thing we need to do is just add in a header for these as well. So I'm just going to zoom in slightly. So if I just bring it over here slightly, so we're going to have a header here of about 50 pixels, which is, in fact, no, we'll do it to about 60, like that. Drag another guide down, deselect that, and we've now started to get the structure for the boxes. So in here, we're going to have the icon with the title, bit of text, and then the links. So I'm just going to close down the info palette over here. And I'm just going to collapse the featured section, collapse the header down. So just above the featured, I'm going to create a new group. And I'm going to call this uh, gaming, like that. And now I'm going to go to the assets folder and open uh, some of the icons up. So file, open. So inside of here, there's a, uh, an icon called gamepad. So I'm going to open that up. Opens up in a new document. Do control A and then control C to copy that straight out. And I'm going to create a layer inside of the gaming group. I'm going to call this gaming icon. And I'm going to do control V. And that's now pasted it in. So we need to move this up into place. So I'm just going to drag that up. 
So I'm going to put that about here. Now we need to create some text next to that. So I'm going to grab my text tool and I'm going to call this gaming, if I could spell gaming. <laughs> so gaming like that and then zoom out slightly so we can get a feel for what it looks like. So that's obviously way too big. So I'm just going to bring that down in size to about 18. See what that looks like. Okay, so that's not right. I'm going to zoom in a little. So we're at 100% now. So I'm going to change the uh, the Allah font from Allah to Allah bold. And I'm going to crank this up to about 24 pixels like that. I think that's looking a bit better now. And then maybe bring the gamepad down in size just a tad like that. And then just move that next to it. So we've got our first one in place. So the next thing we need to do, we need to add some of the lorem ipsum text uh, below it. So I'm just going to grab some from this site here that we used previously. So just any bit of text will do. And then create a new layer. Grab the text tool and click and drag. So we've got a selection like that. Make sure it snaps to both sides of the guide, of the guides even. And I'm just going to paste that in. So we need to change the way that looks and everything. So the font for this is going to be Arial. It's going to be regular. It's going to be a lot smaller than that. So probably about 14. So that's not looking too bad. We need to change the colour of the actual font because it's not quite right. So I'm just going to so I'm just going to select it all. And the colour is going to be 80838D. So it's like a grey colour. So that's not looking too bad now. The next thing I'm going to do is just add in the links below. So we're going to grab, well, first of all, create a new layer. Grab the text tool. I'm just going to click below it and I'm going to type in the following link to an awesome page. Obviously, you can change it to what you like. So I'm going to select all that and the color is going to be the blue color 4BD1FD and then click OK. So here's our first link. Now the size of the actual link is going to be a bit smaller, so it's going to be 12 pixels here. And we also need to bring down the main font as well, because I think that's a bit too big. So we'll bring that down to 13 pixels. And then I'm just going to nudge that up slightly. And then I'm going to duplicate this layer by dragging it down onto the new layer icon. And then nudge that uh, one down. Keep creating them until you've got about three like that. So now we need to create the little arrow next to each of the uh, links. So again, that's easy enough to do. Create a new layer. And we're going to go down to the shape tool down here to the custom shape. And then we want to select this one here that we've used previously. So I'm just going to zoom in a little bit more so we can get up close. And I'm just going to click, hold down shift and alt until we get a nice looking arrow like that. I'm just going to sort of nudge that into place. Put it about there. I think if we make it a tiny bit bigger so it's the same size as the L. That's look good. That looks good to me. We need to grab, change the colour of this. I'm going to grab the uh, eyedropper tool, pressing I on the keyboard and just sampling some of this blue. And then I'm going to do Alt and Backspace and I'll change it to uh, the blue colour. So now all I need to do is copy the arrow nudge that down, copy it one more time, nudge that one down, zoom out slightly, and as you can see there we've now got the first section um, of, the, of the categories. So I'm just going to grab all these three and these three links and just nudge them over into the middle. So that's the gaming one done now, so all we have to do, we don't have to go through all that again, we're just going to grab the gaming one and we're just going to duplicate it and we're going to call this mobile and then I'm going to select the mobile group I'm just going to nudge that all the way over so that slots in just here and I'm going to do the same again and I'm going to call this desktop like that so if I just move this so we can see and I'm going to do exactly the same thing again just nudge this one all the way over 
like that. So all we really have to do now is go to our text tool and change this to mobile and change this one to desktop. And now if I turn off the guides and just zoom out a little, you can see there how quickly that was to make. All we need to do now is just change these icons. So if I just zoom in, just turn the guides back on. So I'm going to get rid of this one. So gaming icon will go and I'm going to open up the other icons now. So the other one is the desktop and the mobile one. So that's both of those been opened. So I'm going to do control A, control C. So here, next to the mobile, I'm going to create a new layer, paste that in, put that next to it, bring it down in size because it's a bit too tall. So as you can see now we've got the mobile one in and now we just need to do the, the desktop one. So click on the icon, delete that one, create a new layer and I'm just going to open up the desktop one. Control A, Control C, you know the drill by now and Control V to paste it in. Just bring that right next to the desktop, bring it down in size and there you go. We've now added in that section. So as you can see now, we're starting to get there with the actual design. We've got the header all in place, navigation, featured, the categories. So the next stage will be in the, in the upcoming episodes is to create the main section, the bit on the left-hand side, and also to create the trending uh, section, like the sidebar on the right-hand side. And then the final thing to do after that is just to add in the footer. So as usual, guys, thanks for watching. Please leave any comments below. Feel free to subscribe. Don't forget to click the annotation in the top right, and I'll catch you in the next video.